Hello everyone, welcome back to Selena Thinking Out Loud. Today I'm going to use another one of my whiskey uh, barrels to plant two types of grapes. I have here the Hemrod and I have the Suffolk and I'm going to use this and this is when I'm going to add the trellis and it's going to go up and over and then the one in the back there is going to go up and over on the next trellis. So right now I just want to get them in. This product says that you can actually uh, plant this before um, or you know you don't have to wait until after your last frost which we're close to our um, our final frost as well. I'm here in March but I still wanted to wait and um, I'm here going to be planting in Southern California. You can plant between January and May it shows. So I'm right on target at the latest May. So I'm gonna dig a hole and plant this, set the crown of the plant. As you can see, it already has some type of foliage on it, but they said this may uh, fall off since it was here and a new growth may take its place. So that's totally normal. So I have here the same soil um, I use for my blueberries. Um, the raised bed and potting mix. It has compost in it, uh, perlite, um, peat moss, all that good stuff in here. But for my fertilizer, I'm gonna use again, Dr. Earth, but this one is fruit tree fertilizer. And on the back here, it says for uh, fruit vine trees, new planting before you plant at three quarters cup per one and a quarter gallon of soil. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my soil. Then my fertilizer, soil, fertilizer, soil, fertilizer until I get to the top. And then I'm gonna plant my two grape trees. All right, and again, I added about three cubic feet. That was two of these bags and one half of the bag. As you can see, I have a half left in here. And here is the Suffolk that's left. And I'm gonna go ahead and I put the hole in here and the roots look great. I'm gonna plug them in here, deep in here. Let me make the hole just a little bit deeper. There we go. Then I'm going to pop this in here. And I want this little foil foliage to go that way because I'm going to have the trellis go that way. So it's going in the, direct, going in the right direction. So I've watered the soil very well. And now I'm going to add some cedar chips to around the base to keep it moist to help contain moisture but this soil is really really good so I think it should be okay but you never can be sure because it's definitely going to get full sun out here in the middle of the backyard. So my second variety of grapes, these are Niagara gra grapes, they came from fastgrowingtrees.com. Um, I decided to add another grapevine in with this one. Um, and so, as you can see, it's just starting to wake up. So, um, they said that this is still probably in this dormancy if it doesn't have any leaves on it when it comes. But soon after you water it and it gets used to its home, it'll start flowering, uh, making leaves and things. So, I'm really hopeful. This actually is a one-year-old grapevine, so it's not going to be first year. Um, I'm planning this, so um, they say I should get grapes this year. So hopefully I'll keep you guys posted on that part. But as of right now, I'm just going to plant this in this huge wheelbarrow barrel and um, plant both of them and get them going. The roots are nice and loose and I'm just gonna shake it out a little bit and then I'm going to transplant it right into this hole. As you can see, the soil I have is nice and moist. I'm just gonna pop it in that hole. I want it to face so that I have the trellis up here. It'll go towards the trellis, so I'll train it that way. So let's pop it in here. I'll probably make the hole a little bit deeper. Today is April 24th, and I wanted to give you guys a quick update of the great uh, progress. As you can see, they're doing very well. They're getting full sun. I have my wood chips here to keep the soil moist. Uh, we have had in be a couple of rain showers, so um, they've been loving that, it looks like. We're now in June, and as you can see, the hem 
Nimrod, Graves, and the Niagara has finally woken up. In this uh, barrel, this Niagara took some time to wake up. So it just started waking up in about, about two weeks ago now, about a week or two ago. So as you can see, it's finally doing its thing. But the Hemrod here is well on its way. And this one is, has even reached the trellis which I'm very excited to see. So I just clamped it with a little um, tie, zip tie here, really light, not trying to cut it, and I'll let it do its um, own thing on there. Here's the second one. But this one really took off. This Niagara took off. I got them, as I told you before, fast growing trees. And as you can see, they, they have taken off in this one, both of them. Like this is a Niagara to be a more lighter green grape. And this is actually gonna be a red grape. And this is the Suffolk grape. But there's your update for June. I'm very excited. Um, and they are still getting that full sun. These wood chips have been being amazing. I have fertilized um, the soil um, every two months so far with the Garden Tone. And that has been doing very well. It's a slow release fertilizer doing very well also. And thanks a lot for coming along with me as I share with you how I planted my grapevines. And I'll keep, keep you guys posted on what I get this year. Um, I may just let have to let it grow out this year and then next year get grapes, but I'll, I'll keep you posted. Take care guys, God bless, bye.